Okay, so on this year of self-discovery, I have been reflecting on a lot of things. And one of them is the fact that I generally see things as all or nothing. Um, and it's hard for me to see things as being gray or in the middle. And so when I want to do something, I do it. When I don't want to do something, I don't do it. And a lot of things that I that have been in my life are structured that way. But if there's one thing that this channel these daily uploads have has taught me is that it's helped me to open my mind to be more receptive to living in the gray to making compromises to seeing things from other people's perspectives to um, trying new things and seeing if they work for me but there's one fucking thing that I don't want to do and that is bend over to YouTube so, so let me let me go back a little bit. One of my goals of this channel and all my YouTube endeavors, I have a, a bunch of different monetized channels, is is to make these videos full time and earn a full time income. To not be to be able to leave all of the other kind of money earning endeavors and entrepreneurial things that I'm into, or having to get a real job make these daily videos, have these conversations with you, make human connections, talk about really interesting and important things, um, not sell you courses, not sell you merchandise, not sell you any of that stuff, just good old fashioned YouTube videos where you and I hang out every single day. And I want to be able to make that financially sustainable for me. The problem is, I'm a stubborn fucking mule. I will not do certain things because I feel like that's compromising what I want this channel to be, what I want our experience to be, and what I want my overall content creation life to be. So what does that mean? Yeah, for me, it means that if I wanted to monetize this channel... I know how to do that. I have other channels that I've monetized. I know what kind of videos to make. I know that I need to make better thumbnails. I know I need to fill out better descriptions, maybe use hashtags, um, edit these videos, do a whole bunch of things that have retention grabbing things, do all those things that everyone suggests when you want to grow a channel quickly and monetize as fast as you can. The problem is that I don't want to do any of those fucking things. I want to keep my content and our relationship and our dialogue exactly how it is. I just want it to be, I guess, exponentially bigger so that a lot more of us can come together and have these conversations. And, and so, yeah, I do a ton of stuff consciously that are opposite of what most people would do to grow a YouTube channel. And selfishly, I want my channel to grow. And a lot of this boils down to me wanting to maybe prove to everyone, to other people, to the casual person who's clicked on a video and told me, you need to do this, dude, and stop doing that if you want to make a YouTube video and if you want to grow a channel. I want to be like, fuck you, man. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can make your videos exactly how you want them. You can be in your videos exactly how you want to be. You can do things or not do things. And you can still grow a channel. And I firmly believe that. But the problem is the, sp the speed at which you do that. Because I've learned that it's a slow grind. It's a, it's a slow go. Um, I had another monetized channel that I wanted to, to get, make as much money as I could, as fast as I could. And I was able to, with only uploading less than 20 videos, monetize it and gain 14,000 subscribers. And I did that and it fucking sucked. Because there was this expectation for me to make a certain type of video 
to be a certain way, to talk about certain things that I didn't want to talk about, that wasn't sustainable for me as a content creator for long-term mental health. It would be like having a job. It would be like doing something someone else told you to do and then having to keep doing that all the time. When I created this channel, I said, fuck that, man. I want to do whatever I want. I want to talk about whatever I want. I want to um, make these videos however I want. And I want to build an audience of people that like me for me and want to hang out with me and want to have these conversations because they value what I say and I value their response and their input. And so I made a conscious decision a long time ago on how I was going to run this channel. And I'll tell you what, it's fucking frustrating. Every single day, it's frustrating. Um, I made conscious decisions to not edit these videos because I don't, I don't want to. I don't like editing videos. I like having conversations with people. I like having real time discussions. I like that feeling of hanging out every day. I don't like that feeling of jump cuts. I don't like that feeling of watch me do something else that keeps your attention. Um, if, if our conversation can't keep your atten attention, then that's okay. You can leave, but this is the way I'm going to make my videos. I, uh, I don't, I want to make them every day. I want to do this every single day. And I've done this every single day for over 150 days. And for me, it's hella fun. It's the best, it's one of the best parts of my day. Being able to turn on this camera, talk to you, hang out, have a, have a little bit of social interaction. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. But in order to do that, I don't have the bandwidth, capability, capacity, brain power, time to do all of the other youtube -y stuff. Like make custom thumbnails for every single video or fill out new descriptions or do any of that stuff, right? Because that's not what I want to do. If I'm going to make these videos every day for some indefinite amount of time, then I need to structure them in a way that works best for me to be able to do that in a way that makes it fun and engaging for me to do that for you. Because the second, the second it turns to work makes me not want to do it anymore. The second it makes me feel like I'm working for you, it changes the dynamic. It changes how we interact. All of a sudden, I have something that you want or need instead of us just being together every day. Um, case in point, I have a tech channel and I make tech videos and I provide information that people don't have. And yet I still receive questions all the time about things that I've covered in multiple videos. And because of that, it feels like, it feels like I'm a help desk. It feels like work and I don't like doing it anymore. This channel, where you and I hang out every day and have conversations, it's fucking awesome. It's the way that I think YouTube should be. And I think it's the way that it's the type of creator and the viewer relationship that I think we need to get back to. Where people hang out and have interactions and it's not, there's not this lack of attention or this diminished attention span right where you have to keep doing things over and over again instead it's okay to make a longer video it's okay to ramble it's okay to meander in your conversation and your thought process to wherever it might lead you because it's way more fucking interesting than reading a script to you of something that i read that ultimately at the end of the fucking day doesn't even matter so i am yeah, I'm obstinate. I'm a stubborn mule. I don't want to do any of those things. Despite the fact that I know that if I did some of them, that most likely this channel, my channel, my sub count would go up, my views would go up, my monetization would be faster. And, and yeah, that those things would happen. But at what cost? The cost of bringing, meeting new people and them having an expectation that I am never going to fulfill because the truth is if you're watching this now still like you're my people you and i we are like 
we're tight. You like hang out with me and I like hanging out with you. And I make these videos for you because, because that's how it is. And I don't want to sell you something. I just want to like chill with you. I just want to have conversations, learn from you, figure things out, tell you my challenges and struggles and problems and how I'm solving them and, and in hope in hopes that maybe we have similar situations that some things I do might help you or you've done the same things that I've done and you say, hey, I've done that and this is what I did to, to get through it and then I try that for myself. That's what I want this channel to be. That's what I think a lot of channels should be and that's what a lot of channels I watch are. Real people talking about real things, making real connections and but I'm tempted every day, I'm tempted every day to make those, to make those other types of videos, to make those tent pole event videos, to make those evergreen videos, to make those search result, searchable videos, to make those videos that keep audience retention, to make those videos that have a killer thumbnail and title and, um, all of that fucking shit. Right? Because yeah, because I'll tell, I'll be truthful with you. I'm fucking impatient. I've done this every day for five months and, and it's hard. It's hard to have that patience. It's hard to do that type, put in that type of work and effort and to grow at a snail's pace. And I firmly believe that at some point, The curve is going to go, you know, the curve doesn't go like this. Or does it go like this? No, it goes like this. It goes like, it goes like this for you. The curve we think of growth goes like this. Steady and predictable, right? But uh, something in my gut tells me YouTube growth is like this. Slow, 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 slow. Boom. Fast. And it's just a matter of hanging in there until you reach that point of inflection where you, where you grow. And I'll tell you what, it's a, it's hard. It's really fucking hard when you put in a lot of work and people who casually come onto your channel think that you're not putting in work at all because they see something like an unedited video where you seemingly are rambling on about nothing in particular and think that, oh, this guy's just trying to make a quick buck and it's a low effort endeavor and I don't want to support that. Well, I'm like, fuck you, man. I've done this every single day since January 1. So yeah, I've put in a lot of work. I've put in a lot to grow this channel and I've put in a lot to make these connections. And I guess if there's one thing to take away from this whole video, it's that I want to prove to everybody that you don't have to bend over to the YouTube algorithm, that you don't have to succumb to the pressures of doing things, doing things the way everyone else does them because that's what was successful for them. And instead, do your own fucking thing. Because I'm tired of being a sheep in this YouTube machine. And I think I've innately felt this way for, since the genesis of my channel, I made a, I made a video a long time ago, I think it was entitled how I, YouTube wants me to grow, but I self-sabotage. I haven't gone back and watched that, but, um, but I think the genesis of this video started back then where I am anti-establishment. I want to buck the system. I want to be like, you know what? I don't want to compromise on certain things because it's important that I stick to what my initial goal was. And if that is just to continue to upload every single day, because that is what is a sustainable long-term solution for me. 
and um, and plucking people as I find them all over the place. I mean, I've had so many, like, you guys are awesome. The ones that are still watching right now, you guys fucking rock because you're the ones that comment. You're the ones whose channels I check out. You're the ones who spark conversations and think, thinking, get me to think. And it's, it's that stuff that's invaluable. And it's that stuff that I want to expand like exponentially, right? Because I think that benefits us all. And it'll benefit me, <laughs> I think. So, all right. Enough of this rant for the day. That was it. I probably will not rant like this again. But I just wanted to let you know that, yeah, I think if you stick to your guns, if you don't succumb to peer pressure, that you can do your own thing and you can make it work for you. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and hopefully we'll talk again tomorrow.